All right, so today we're going to be talking about um, Ninth Lord through houses in Western and Vedic astrology and uh, what it means when your Ninth Lord is in particular houses. So, uh, again, just a brief reminder uh, as for all the other videos in this series, the uh, House Lord is the ruling planet of a particular house that where the ruling planet is placed. So, for instance, if you're a Cancer Ascendant and you're 10th Lord is Mars, where Mars is placed is going to be where your 10th Lord is placed or whatever. And what you can gain from this from this understanding and this way of looking at the charts, way of analyzing the chart, is you can um, gain where the results of that house are going to come from. So for instance, the t if you're looking for somebody's career, let's say, for that, that Cancer Ascendant, you would analyze their 10th house, you would analyze Saturn, as you would in every chart, but you would also analyze where their 10th Lord is because through understanding where their 10th Lord is, you can gain insight into where the results of the 10th house are going to come through. Um, so without further ado, let's get into 9th Lord. Now, ninth, um, the 9th house is your a house of your education, but it's specifically a house of your higher education, the wisdom that is sort of collectively available in a society, be that religion, be that um, sort of this materialist atheist philosophy that we're currently running as an experiment, could it, or, or science, or uh, postgraduate, that kind of thing. It's basically all of the sort of moral and higher education. It's, it's, education that's more than just general education. General education is ruled by the fifth house, like childhood education, ABCs, one, two, threes, that's very much the fifth house. But the ninth house is um, formalized uh, classes and sort of education that's special, specialized. So uh, without with that being said, so ninth lords, Let's get into it. So Ninth Lord in the first house is a placement where these people, there. anytime you have a Lord in the first house, that means that this, this topic, this thing, it comes to them. So it, the first house is you. So things, uh, houses with a Lord in the first house, the that house comes to your body. So for instance, if the second Lord is in the first house, uh, money and resources come to you. If Third Lord is in the first house, uh, friends and whatnot come to you. Ninth Lord in the first house, um, you know, these people tend to acquire teachers that just sort of show up in their life. And, you know, that teacher might show up in a million people's field of vision in a day, but they're going to gravitate toward this person because of this Ninth Lord in the first house placement. They're going to get teachers um, that seek them out as a matter of interest, sort of through unconscious means. Um, Ninth Lord in the second house, these people tend to have a slow and steady education that ultimately, uh, it ends up costing them a lot. They're, they're, they might have to pay for their own education or pay back student loans. There's going to be some kind of uh, financial thing regarding their education, generally speaking. And uh, this is one of those placements that can delay education, but if it's not delayed, generally it's, um, these people tend to go into an education where they're learning about economics or that kind of thing so that they can learn about money and fulfilling their, their goals in that. Um, so Ninth Lord in the third house, this is sort of the, the dissonant or antagonistic placement, uh, for Ninth Lord, but just because ninth lord and or ninth house and third house both represent learning they're both mutable signs it's the dichotomy between gemini or mercury and uh, ninth or sagittarius or jupiter but um so the nine three axis i've talked about this in a couple of other videos it's very much related to uh the difference between hands-on learning and learning from authorities or from teachers or from society uh, a third house person will almost always want to teach themselves things, and Ninth Lord and the third house people will, if they do go into education, they're generally very contradictory and they question teachers. And that's not a bad thing, but it can get in the way of formal education. And uh, these people are often, if they do go into a school, they're better off going into a very creative discipline and um, 
where they can do their own thing and kind of be left alone to learn because these people tend to learn better on their own. Uh, Ninth Lord in the fourth house, these people have a tendency to learn their family's tradition or to be brought into a, a familial tradition. And if it's not a familial tradition, um, it's going to be they have a deep emotional connection to their community's higher education or, or higher learning, and they feel very passionately about this. And this is partially, this is a good placement because Jupiter is actually exalted in Cancer, and Jupiter naturally rules the ninth house. So, and uh, Cancer is the sign of the, that's naturally acquainted with the fourth house. So these people do have a, you know, a very deep emotional connection to their to their learning and that can be a good thing because they're also very fast learners because the fourth house in cancer are ruled by the moon and the moon is the fastest planet and um so yeah generally this is a good placement uh if jupiter's debilitated in the sign of capricorn this can be you know less uh less good but what happens then is these people tend to become very passionate about their work which can be a a good thing a blessing so anyway uh, Ninth Lord in the, first, uh, in the fifth house, this is a person who generally should go to college. They should, and if they don't go to college, they should get some kind of priesthood or something where they're learning the ropes of a system because this placement, Ninth and the Fifth, is arguably the best placement for accelerating one's passage through life and becoming their higher self through education. So, all in all, a very powerful placement. Uh, the only thing to watch out for would be ego. Um, as with all things related to Leo or the fifth house, uh, it's good if you don't let your ego overwhelm you and become a tyrant. So yeah, um, ninth Lord in the sixth house, um, ninth Lord in the sixth house is a placement where people become very meticulous. People become, they question authority, not necessarily in the way that somebody with ninth Lord in the third house would, but they genuine they question their authority because they genuinely want to find out the truth and as a result knowledge takes them a long time to acquire but uh it can be very deep knowledge once they do feel like they have a handle on it so this is kind of a delayed gratification place uh their education takes a long time because they have a million questions and it takes a long time to answer a million questions so yeah um Ninth Lord in the seventh house, these people learn primarily through face-to-face -face interaction with reality. So the seventh house is a place in the chart where you meet the rest of the world. So it's not that these people are learning in a, you know, classroom type environment where everything's very sterilized and clean and like, you know, the outside world is kept out of the classroom. Now, these people have a very strong tendency to do most of their learning out actually in the world face-to-face -face with people. So uh, because of that, these people might not get a college education because they lear they're learning so much in their interaction with day-to-day -day people in the marketplace and out in, the, out in the, the town and just learning and meeting people. And that can be very, very useful because, I mean... If you have the most advanced degree in the world and you have all these skills and you can't talk to people, uh, guess how far you're going to get? Nowhere. You're going to get nowhere. So these people have a very strong tendency to be very interested in people and all types of lives and stories. So this is actually a pretty good placement, even though it might seem counterintuitive at first. Um, okay. <sighs> Ninth Lord in the eighth house is, um, as with all things in the eighth house, these people have a strong tendency to learn about dark, dangerous, occult um, things, sort of topics that are, that might scare them, topics that might scare their society, and uh, as a result of this, these people take a while to get going because it's hard to find the occult because it's occult by definition, it's hard to find, but um, occult literally just means hidden. But these people have the interest to continue that pursuit and they ultimately find information that makes them invaluable in times of need. Um, ninth Lord in the Ninth House, uh, if you really want to understand this placement, you should go look at the Sagittarius Ascendant placement because Ninth Lord in the Ninth House is basically fulfilling, it's the Ninth House fulfilling its own prophecy. Um, so yes, these people generally should go to school. A lot of their life will be centered around attaining higher education. Um, the only reason why this wouldn't be the case is if they have other planets in their chart that contradict the ninth Lord and the ninth house placement. 
but generally these people are are going to do very well in a sort of academic setting surely because they want to be there um ninth lord in the tenth house is similar to ninth lord in the second um they are going to definitely they're probably going to take out loans to go to school uh they're probably going to go into debt to get an education um they're probably going to focus on something fairly financial, and if it's not financial, it's going to be generally because their Saturn placement, which is going to rule their 10th house partially, is sort of spiritually or philosophically inclined. But um, generally, these people do go into finances. They do go into something that ultimately is going to be prestigious, but their life might also feel a bit like slave labor for the first 30 years because uh, the second from Sagittarius or the second from the ninth is generally a placement of uh, of rather intense delays and uh, ethics and work and just hard slogging labor. So um, the only reason that wouldn't be the case is if somebody has like Saturn in Pisces or Saturn in Scorpio or Cancer or Aquarius or some very eccentric sign that's going to uh, make them focus a little bit harder on uh, the immaterial versus the material. <clears throat> But yeah, generally the second house of a Sagittarius person is, is quite materialistically focused and uh, as a re because things are hard for them generally coming up. So uh, anyhow, so Ninth Lord in the 11th house, this is a phenomenal placement for speaking, for activism, for uh, philosophical sort of profession, uh, for writing, uh, journalism academic stuff yeah this placement in general is very very good for ideas um these people are kind of zany and spontaneous they have a strong tendency to uh see things very clearly see them kind of as they are and uh as a result of that this can get them into trouble because they can sort of be very talkative run their mouth and then end up accidentally tripping over something that's like uh scares people or is like uh, you know, they weren't supposed to know. Like a reporter who, um, you know, is like doing research on, let's say, like some political figure and then <clears throat> runs into like a secret society or something. That could be uh, something that these people do. Like they tend to, in their honest pursuit of the truth, they tend to trip over things that they aren't supposed to find out that ultimately get them in trouble. But that's, you know, we need people like that um, who are just truth seekers. And don't care what they, you know, who they offend in their pursuit of the truth. So it's pretty good. And uh, again, <clears throat> Ninth Lord, and finally Ninth Lord in the 12th house is a placement, like all 12th house placements, of uh, spirituality, spiritual wisdom, um, learning from... <clears throat> these, are, these are really the only people, with maybe the exception of Ninth Lord in the 3rd house, who can really teach themselves. Uh, Ninth Lord in the 3rd house can teach themselves skills. Um, but Ninth Lord in the Twelfth House can actually teach themselves about life. They could get a college education just by sitting in the woods. Now, obviously, that doesn't apply to everybody. There are people with, like, debilitated Jupiters, debilitated Twelfth Lords, debilitated, uh, you know, like, maybe, like, debilitated planets or non-intellectual planets in the Twelfth House, but generally speaking, this is a very good placement because these people can learn a lot from their interaction with the world itself through just interfacing with not necessarily even other people but just reality as such and that's a rare skill so you know it's might not be the most pragmatic thing in the world but the 12th house is not necessarily about pragmatic realities it's more about uh learning information as such that especially information that pertains to the nature of like life and death and very very metaphysical topics so that's kind of what these people are into so all right, so that was my video for Ninth Lord in the through or Ninth Lord through houses. Um, there's only a couple videos left in this series. I've got Tenth, Eleventh, and Twelfth Lords through houses, and uh, I know this series has taken me a while to get through. But if you want to learn about a new topic, um, if you enjoyed this series, if you enjoyed my other series, my other content, definitely drop a a suggestion. I do read my comments and. Uh, if you drop a suggestion about what the next video you might like to see is, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take that into consideration when I'm making my thing about my next series. And uh, hopefully that series should take me uh, more time or less time to get through than this one. 
Also, if you want to um, get a personal consultation or personal astrological reading from me, there is a Fiverr link in the about of this uh, channel. So yeah, till next time.